Hey there, Mike Etcher here down inside of our coffer dam. It's a surface piercing coffer dam. We're working at the wind and water line. Come on in, let's take a look. inside the coffer dam we're working at the wind and water line the water line right now is about right in here what happens is that the the wave action combined with the additional oxygen action on that surface creates a specialized local problem of corrosion which is the real problem for most of the ships like this which are not in active service this is where the ship starts to deteriorate the most and the fastest Below the waterline, pretty stable. We have cathodic protection. Above the waterline, we can deal with this very easily. We can repaint it, we can take care of any corrosion. Down here, we have to be able to access it inside of a coffer dam like this. So once the coffer dam is installed down here, we can access this piece of plate. This particular piece here is in fact inch and a half STS armor plate. This is called the decapping plate. So when a torpedo or a shell hits, this is where they expect to initiate the detonation and also start breaking up the projectiles. This is a really heavy piece of plate. But even though it's heavy, it has a very high nickel content, really good stuff, it still has corrosion issues with all of the rivets. So what we've done here is actually repaired rivets. You can't see them now. They've been welded up. We can address all of the corrosion issues and then through a five-step process, recode it with everything that we should have on the hull at this location. This is the right long-term strategy. We're gonna move all the way around the ship. This is one of those forever jobs. You start at one end, you go to the other, and you start over again. Good stuff though, that's what we're doing. 